Welcome to this presentation about Bluetooth direction finding. My name is Nick Dutton, I'm with Silicon Labs. Let's get started. Let's look at a few application areas for indoor location services. Starting with asset management. Assets can be expensive equipment, containers, utility vehicles, or even medical devices. Indoor location service companies can greatly enhance efficiency because this important equipment is more easily located, especially in large buildings. And the need for these kinds of services is likely to grow in the future. Other applications include indoor navigation. For example, assume you're at an airport. You could use your mobile phone application to show your way to the gate. On the left side of our table, we have Ultra Wideband, or UWB. This technology uses time difference in arrival. Next, we have Wi-Fi, which bases its location services in Receive Signal Strength Indication, or RSSI. Bluetooth offers both RSSI and Angle of Arrival, or AOA, solutions. Bluetooth also tends to be a much lower cost solution for tags than both Wi-Fi or Ultra Wideband. Furthermore, both Wi-Fi and Ultra Wideband use substantially more energy, making them less suitable for battery-powered applications. In large established corporate settings, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth RSSI solutions tend to be better positioned because Ultra Wideband and Bluetooth AOA require dedicated infrastructure. However, Ultra Wideband does offer the greatest levels of accuracy, with Bluetooth AOA in second place. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi RSSI offer a similar performance to each other, but they're not as accurate as Ultra Wideband or Bluetooth AOA. When we look at the pros and cons of each technology, we can summarize Ultra Wideband as being a high cost solution with a high current consumption and the need for a dedicated infrastructure, but with very high levels of accuracy. Wi-Fi using only RSSI has a limited level of accuracy and a high current consumption, but can reuse existing corporate Wi-Fi infrastructures. Bluetooth RSSI which needs a dedicated infrastructure and only provides limited accuracy, does benefit from a long battery life, making it ideal for low-cost beacons and tags. Bluetooth AOA shares the comparison to Bluetooth RSSI, but instead brings a high level of accuracy. With that, what can we expect if we use Bluetooth for indoor location services? Well, Bluetooth AOA will provide an accuracy within one meter when using Bluetooth direction finding technology and when used with an appropriate number of locators for a given installation. A Bluetooth tag would likely provide a five to 10 year battery life using only a coin cell battery and could be created with a bill of materials of less than a dollar in volume. The bill of materials would consist of a Bluetooth chip a PCB or chip antenna, the battery and battery holder, and finally, a few external components, including passives and the crystals. If a product already uses Bluetooth, then the Bluetooth direction finding capabilities can use the existing Bluetooth radio as it does not hinder any existing Bluetooth data transfer functionality. Bluetooth can use two techniques for its direction finding capability. The first is called Angle of Arrival, which we are covering here today. The second less common approach is called Angle of Departure, or AOD. In the lower half of this illustration, you can see the Bluetooth tag, a transmitter. A tag, when active, may want to send a simple data packet, such as a temperature reading. The packet may be either an advertisement or connection packet, but appended to the end can be the addition of a continuous tone extension, or CTE. This allows for location services without hindering any existing product functionality. As previously discussed, it will only need a single antenna and therefore can support an extremely small profile. Power consumption is generally determined by duty cycle 
which is typically configured by a developer to a given interval. However, an application may require a tag to wake based on various external triggers, including accelerometers, temperature variations, or even light levels. In such cases, these may increase the transmission periods or be the only reason a tag ever wakes. In either case, the direction finding packets can then be sent. In the upper half of the illustration, you can see the Bluetooth locator, the receiver. The locator, powered from a line supply, forms part of the infrastructure in the AOA solution. The locator listens to the special packets that contain the continuous tone extension, CTE, and measures the IQ data from that CTE payload. The IQ data is then used to calculate the azimuth and elevation. In some architectures, the IQ data may be forwarded on for back-end processing instead of being processed locally by the locator. When IQ data is processed by back-end servers, often more processing power is available and therefore more angles can be calculated per second. The locator consists of an antenna array, RF switches, and a Bluetooth radio running at least Bluetooth 5.1. In the Silicon Labs reference antenna array, we use 16 antennas in a 4x4 configuration. This illustration shows how multiple locators can be used to determine the position of the asset. The asset sends packets that contain the CTE. This transmission is received by multiple locators, and each locator can either locally calculate the angle or forward the IQ data for back-end processing. When the processed angle data is combined, the system can pinpoint the location of the asset. The positioning engine may be a cloud-based service or a locally based service. A locally based positioning engine may be something simple like a PC or a Raspberry Pi. Positioning engines can also run custom or additional services. Developers may create applications that have a positioning engine monitor different zones, generate alerts, or create heat maps. The EFR32 BG22 commonly referred to as the BG22, is a Bluetooth 5.2 SoC solution comprising of an ARM Cortex-M33 that runs at 76.8 MHz. It can also be slowed to 38.4 MHz if a developer's application suits. It offers either a 352K or 512K flash option with a 32K RAM. The embedded Bluetooth radio provides up to 6 dBm transmit power and with the 1 megabit PHY a sensitivity of minus 99 dBm. The SoC has a number of peripherals including serial interfaces, GPIOs, an ADC and a built-in temperature sensor. An external 32 kHz crystal can be replaced by the internal precision low frequency RC oscillator which has an accuracy of 500 ppm, which is sufficient enough to fulfill the requirements of Bluetooth. Its power consumption is extremely low, as shown by the radio power consumption numbers illustrated here at 0 dBm. When taking into account the M33, the total consumption is about 4.1 milliamps. Furthermore, the Bluetooth stack can take full advantage of the EM2 deep sleep mode which yields only 1.4 microamps with full RAM retention. The device also has a number of robust security features including a secure boot, a secure debug with lock and unlock functionality, and a built-in cryptographic block designed to offload the CPU from cryptographic operations. The BG22 is available in three different package options, a 5x5 QFN40 offering up to 26 GPIO, a QFN32 offering 18 GPIO, and for developers looking for low height profiles, 
a TQFN32 option at only 0.3 millimeters thick with 18 GPIO. Power optimizations have been designed into the BG22 to ensure long battery life from coin cell batteries. By example, an application that communicates with a mobile phone every 2 seconds using the 2 megabit Phi has an average power consumption of 4 microamps. Through calculation, this would equate to a 5 year battery life using a CR2032 coin cell. The BG22 is designed to support Bluetooth tags with bill of material costs of below $1. It is also designed to support the Bluetooth direction finding capabilities. This photograph demonstrates the Silicon Labs reference design for locator antenna arrays. Much of this design is made up from the 4x4 16 antenna array. Its physical design is primarily determined by the distances required between the antennas to fully interpret the phase differences. At the base of the design is the BG22 Bluetooth SoC, along with other components including the RF switching circuits. While this example is not intended to be a productized design, the hardware design files are available as they present developers with a starting reference point on which they can base their own locator designs. The reference design offers an accuracy of within 5 degrees and can be used with other boards for indoor positioning. This reference board is designed to plug into the Silicon Labs wireless development kit which has several interfaces that can be used to forward the IQ samples including an Ethernet interface and a USB port that can be used as a virtual UART. The AOA reference software available for the BG22 takes care of the RF switch control and IQ sampling. The RTL library converts the raw IQ samples to angle and elevation. The library is designed to run on the EFR32, an ARM Cortex A-Class device such as the Raspberry Pi, or on a desktop computing level processor. The EFR32's processing capability allows it to calculate only a few angles per second, whereas a Cortex-A, a desktop processor, or servers based in the cloud can provide much greater processing speed, and therefore much more scalability. The RTL library also monitors for multipath signals received by the locators, as such reflections need to be filtered out from the results as they can create angle errors. Furthermore, the library filters for collisions which occur when multiple tags are sending packets to the locator at the same time. Filtering for these collisions is important as they can lead to the corruption of a CTE data packet. The RTL library has detection and filtering algorithms to remove these corrupted packets. Additionally, the library provides angle and elevation filtering algorithms to provide real-time and high accuracy modes of operation. A large percentage of the top 20 retailers have some form of location services deployed within their stores. They have also seen more than 90% of their customers open promotional messages that they have received from point of interest applications while shopping. Currently, most in-shop location services are based on the RSSI technology, but integrating AOA is becoming more and more feasible and offers greater benefits due to the increased accuracy. As a real-life case study, we can reference Cooper, a Finnish company with 15 years experience and focused on indoor location services. Widely regarded as a market leader in their field, they can provide a ready-to-install infrastructure and a position engine. They have also created a large network of ecosystem tag vendors and installation partners which have gathered them deployments in over 50 countries. This concludes our brief introduction to indoor location services and Bluetooth direction finding capabilities. But for more information, visit us at scilabs.com.